Uh, my name is Henry Wong from Living Arts College. Um, this room is uh, the newly installed VR lab that the Living Arts College just received. Um, what we do here is develop games for VR and just explore new avenues that virtual reality can take us. Earlier, I was actually using a program called Tilt Brush to create a reference of a human head. I was starting with the basic skeleton of it, then adding in details such as the eyes and mouth and so on. The little like, components on my left hand when I was like looking at them were different tools such as the eraser, which I used a little bit. And I could also ch change the time of day as well as edit how the light's affecting my scene. And there were also specialty brushes like fire, snow, and like dust. I believe the creative aspect is limitless to the fact that anyone can create anything in it, as well as explore newer aspects such as 3D space and, and how they can actually use that, since we are all traditionally taught 2D. So it's very much explorative. I have seen people create maquettes in this, as well as just develop cool landscapes that I have been able to create in a 2D space before. The college has been able to give me opportunities that I haven't been able to do before, such as expose me to Maya, which allows me to explore 3D art, as well as allow me to use things like um, Photoshop, which was very pricey for when I wasn't a student here, since I either had to find cheaper free software that didn't have the capacity like Photoshop, or find other software that I have to pay for on a cheaper level since I don't have the budget to be paying $50 a month for something like that. But ultimately, they're giving me the tools of my trade that I couldn't before. My name is Danielle Turner. I attend here at the Living Arts College and I study animation and game design. Well, today I have a couple of my art prints. I did five by five of my art prints and I have badges of a couple of them and eight by eight and stickers and buttons that I've made, all handcrafted by me. <laughs> it has given me an opportunity to actually network up with other people to be able to do events such as this as well as work at comic cons to sell my art and give me just an opportunity to meet with people that are further ahead of me in my field and connect with them so maybe i can get a job with them outside after i graduate <laughs> i want to be a character modeler i want to own my own business one day an animation studio business but so far working my way up to that i want to at least hit pixar level work quality work so yeah starting here i'm gonna keep working hard and and refine my skills while i have the free tools which is the best thing they've given me um, mentorship just advice for when i graduate from here what i need to do to actually be able to make it and stay ahead of the game because without them i don't think i'd probably be able to survive for too long out there um just like little tips and things that most people, if, like, if they didn't go to school, they wouldn't know. So I think that's always helpful. And I really appreciate it from them. <laughs> I have a Facebook page under Milan's Designs. I also have an Instagram, which I'm still setting up, and an art station all under the same name, Milan Designs. And you can find me at Danye Turner on Facebook, and I also share my art on there. My name is Destiny C. It's really fun. Uh, having this opportunity to showcase my talents to all sorts of people coming through the hallways and um, it really it helped me learn a lot about how to like do this business. I draw mostly anime cartoonist style art and and I, I grew up watching anime so that's why i'm more lenient towards it is not until high school where uh, my art teacher encouraged me to move so to move beyond that into some like realism so i really applaud my high school teacher for letting me learn how to do realistic art because i really actually like it <laughs> and and i'm 
thank her again for making me push the boundaries and explore something out of my comfort bubble for a second. Since then, I've been experimenting with different mediums like color pencils, graphite, and and it sort of evolved into where I can do any picture in graphite, color pencil, and markers. Yeah, just overall, it's just a great learning experience for when I go out into the real world and try to sell my artwork and spread, spread out the world like, Hey, I'm here. I can do art for you. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really fun. It's really great. They, they, sh they should really do this, like, consistently. And, they, and my overall experience being at this college is a really great learning tool and in a very good creative space and and the thing i really like about this school is the professors because they're, they're not the normal typical professors like they will give you real talk about how to be successful once you get out into the real world and and honestly if i hadn't been in this college I would have no clue on how to like get my brand out there, those business aspects. Yeah, you can uh, follow me on Instagram, but uh, my username is Cheese for May. It's C H E E S E, the number four M A E. My name is Lamar Shannon. I am the campus president of Living Arts College and Living Arts Institute. Uh, it's a great honor to be hosting the Raleigh Film and Art Festival. Uh, it's more than what I could even dream of and expect. Um, I'm actually having a great time. Students are having a great time. Uh, a lot of talent that has come here the last two days. I'm learning a lot, and so I know students are, but uh, definitely great um, artwork going on with the vendors, great movies, great shorts. Um, something that I hope to um, expand on in the future and have a working relationship with Raleigh Film and Art Festival. For students, they get to network uh, and close up, especially with the um, questions and answer sessions that they have after uh, certain short films. Uh, they get to hear the experts, industry experts, talk about lighting, film, uh, sounds, what equipment they use. And then for the students that had uh, short films in the showcase, they get to tell industry experts how they did it and uh, what their aspirations are. Uh, overall, for the Living Arts College, um, my goal is to take us into the next um, level or to the next level of, of arts and creative arts, uh, partner with Raleigh Film and Art Festival, that it'll bring exposure to our school and those individuals in the surrounding areas that didn't know that we were here and uh, provided such creative education will now consider us seriously. So I would like to say um, locally, if you would like to know more about the arts, um, especially creative arts, please check out New Vision Media, New Vision Television. Um, that's our local spot to learn everything that's going on in the area.